Nice sunny lunch spot here in Ballarat while I'm out for a ride. I thought I'd have a chat about the saddle that I've been running for the last two and a half months. The Shimano Pro Stealth saddle. 142 mil size, alloy rail. I didn't go for the carbon rail version because the last carbon rail version saddle that I upgraded from, from this one, the Specialized Roman, I'd snapped that rail and I'd been riding it with it positioned between the two clamps for a while. So carbon rails and saddles, probably not my thing, not that I'm a weight weenie racer um, and I don't see myself being that anytime soon again. So more about reliability and comfort, that's why I've gone this one. Now, if you know the channel well, you know that I'm always seeking a better experience, better technology, or just more comfort to make the time out here on the bike more enjoyable, also indoors as well. It's very, very important. I installed this saddle mid-November. It's now January 23rd. So it's been on the bike and it's staying on the bike. So first up, the unboxing of the unit itself, pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at that. One cool feature of this saddle is there's a little mount thing on the back there that you can screw a GoPro mount onto, maybe a few other mounts as well. So you can have cameras and things hanging off the back. We'll go through that in a second. Very cool stuff though. The weight of this unit is listed as 206 grams. Mine comes in at 203, so happy days there. Shaved a few grams off there. Now the shape of the thing, let's compare it to the Specialized Power Saddle, which I've had on my other bike for a while as well. Now I found that saddle not too bad. I used it in Perth for three, four months. It's been on the Specialized S-Works that I have for a while. I don't have any big problems with the, the power saddle, but that stubby nose, it feels a bit empty, I guess, at the front. So definitely the wider nose of this saddle, you can definitely feel as soon as you get on it. The wider cutout is very handy as well. Now indoors, a wider cutout for me is a welcome addition because if you're not moving forward and back in the saddle, if you're not moving side to side or up and down, you're static on the bike, that cutout is a welcome relief. One thing I did find with this saddle after installation is it sits a little higher than the Roman that I had. The Roman was a couch, very relaxed and dippy in the middle. This thing's a bit stiffer across the top. So look, look at the morphing shot here between the two. So what I had to do is play with the saddle height. So I had to drop the saddle height a little bit given that the seat was up a few mil higher. So I, it took me a while to get it sorted, but once it was dialed in, it was fine. Another very, very important thing with this saddle was the nose tilt. The wider front end means you can slide forward and go a little harder without compromising comfort or blood flow, I guess you'd call it. Um, this saddle here, when I first put it on, the nose was up a little bit. I found no difference. I was still getting numb. Really wasn't that great, but I tilted it down only a few millimeters. This is just my experience. Your mileage will vary. And it was just a knife edge. Well, you don't want to talk about knives down there, but it was just a very, very minute change. And then it made the saddle super, super comfy. So about $160 Australian, probably around 120, 130 US and equivalent in your local markets, depending on your currency rate. That's not a bad option to try if you're not comfortable with your current saddle. And I'm always a strong believer, if you're not comfortable with your saddle, change it. Even if you've spent a lot of money, sell it, change it. These ones have a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no test saddles. I asked the guys at the Tour Down Under at the Shimano booth, you know, do they have test saddles like Specialized do? No, they didn't need to offer it, they told me, because you can get your money back if you don't like it. It's taken me probably about three or four weeks to decide that I'll keep this saddle for now. Um, so give or take, but it's not a lot of investment to try out a new saddle, especially if you're experiencing discomfort indoors. And again, disclaimer here, if you are experiencing strong discomfort or true numbness around your bits, go and get a professional bike fit. It is so super important. Let's have a look at some footage I shot over in Adelaide this week with the GoPro mount on the back of this saddle. For high quality on-bike footage, that's a cool little solution there. 
It doesn't quite fit with the camera and my saddlebag on the back, so I do take the saddlebag off and put it in my pocket. I will jump off this bridge though to show you that and show you how to mount the camera on there because knowing my luck, I'll drop the camera through these slats here and I'll be going for a swim. Let's jump over here and have a look at the camera mount. Australian wildlife, isn't it beautiful? It sounds like a death scream. Okay, so the sat. Okay, so this. Jesus, really? Come on, you little. F Not a fan of YouTube, that bird. So the Pro Stealth saddle mount itself tucked up under here. Easy as that. You just line it up. Make sure it's pointing backwards. A smaller saddlebag may fit up under here, or you might be able to sort of tie it in, but mine doesn't fit. It usually goes in the back pocket if I'm using this. Super easy to whip the camera on and off whenever you need on the back of the bike there, so a handy little solution for the camera. My saddle of choice for now, until something else comes along. Thanks for watching, happy riding.